looks like goddamn Mario Kart. Checkered everything. There's something on that car. It's a hang. Daddy's home. What the shit? Race control. One more car and I'm taking it out of your ass. I'm gonna take this track and make it my bitch. Did you know that races are one of them? I I did not know that. Did you not? The IMS is the best there ever was. Daddy doesn't do road <laughs> Daddy only does ovals. <laughs> we certainly don't take ourselves that seriously, so you shouldn't. Welcome to Fast Cars, Fast Girls with Abby and Molly. Okay, season two, episode 32, Portland Race Report, or as we've talked about calling it, hashtag dot gif. Put a bird on it, Portlandia. <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous. It's ridiculous, I know. Um, so warming up the tires, we're just going to run down a little bit of the news that's happened and then talk about Portland. All right, let's get to it. Because we're in Portland. We are. In the lovely, lovely truck stop hotel that we're living in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know it's classy because there's a Ponderosa bar attached. I mean, it's very classy. Not, not just a Ponderosa, but a bar. Yes, where they play honky-tonk, I'm sure. Oh, guaranteed honky tonk. I'm sure there's a honky tonk night. Yeah, I think it's every night. It is at the at the Ponderosa. Yes. Can't speak. It's been a long day. So, news this week. Oh boy, news this week. It's been a big day for. It's been a big week for news. It has been a big week for news. Yukos uh, indicated that they're going to go to two cars next year. Yes, um, they talked about they're going to run two full cars next year, and then Ricardo was like, "Not gonna lie to you." I have some concern about the road to Indy since they're losing uh, Mazda as the primary sponsor. Yeah. So he was he was very open in an article that we had retweeted recently. So uh, we'll see because that's going to suck. Because they're, I mean, they started in road to Indy. Yeah. And, and they're a huge. They're in, huge in road to Indy. Yeah. yeah. So they we'll. Have a very, they have a big presence there. So. It's interesting. It is. I mean, I think there's a lot of teams that are concerned about the road to Indy and what's going to happen with that. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Well, it's kind of just one of these things that we're just going to see. Yeah, we're going to have to wait and see. But it does make sense to go to two cars. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I think that's why Harding is looking at two cars. I mean, because that way you have more data. You have a teammate that you can, you know, you can try two different, two different setups, setups and see what yeah. works. And, you know, you can use that data to help each other. And it's not such slow trial and error. No. And um, I think any... Any team that's just one car is going to suffer greatly because, well, you don't you don't have that backup. So that's that's good. I don't want to just get my star. There we go. Um, other news, quick news: Honda won the manufacturers championship, so that already got buttoned up. I think even before Portland happened. Wow. So it must have been in the aftermath of the Gateway. Yeah. Which is weird, but okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it was definitely announced beforehand. Well, congratulations, hon. There you go. Um, Munoz is in for Wiccans for the rest of the season, so he was in Portland, and he will be driving the number six in Sonoma. All right. And Wiccans is back in Indiana. They transferred him to Methodist Hospital Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. I think Thursday. So he was medically sound enough to transfer. That's a good sign. That is a good sign. So, yeah, no, that's a lot of good things. And the doctors that work on uh, the IndyCar medical team um most of them work at methodist so he's as in well so he's yeah he's in excellent hands really good hands there i mean he was in good hands at the uh lehigh valley sure. center <clears throat> as well but he's in extremely good hands at methodist hospital so so that's good we'll just wait for more official updates we will <laughs> uh, let's see Pato award and colton Herta will drive for harding at sonoma so harding's actually gonna have two cars at Sonoma. I think we're going to have a lot Gabby's of Gabby's not going to be in either one of them. And that's kind of rough. Yeah, that's kind of a raw deal. I mean, I understand, like, they had talked about the one car, but now they're like, well, we have two cars, and you're not going to be in either one of them, but please still show up. <laughs> yeah. I've been like, mm, I'll show up, but I will not be sober. Right? I'm in wine country. No, thank you. Yeah, no. No, I don't think so. I'll pass. That's, that's weird. It is. I, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm more.
more and more concerned that Gabby's not going to be returning to Harding Racing next year. Yeah, the writing on the wall does not look good for him. It does not. Um, I don't want to speak ill will of it, but it just does not look it good. It doesn't seem like that's the, the no. way that they're going to go with things. It's unfortunate. He's a, he, does, he did very well for that team this year. He did. I mean, there's not a lot of times that he doesn't finish. No, I mean, he's a solid driver. I think he's got, he still has some... Some learning to do, but... Yeah, I mean, he's not ever, you know, really in contention to win a race. Sure. So, you know, but <clears throat> at the same time, they're a one-car team, and they don't necessarily have the best equipment either. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, I think he's still got learning to do, but yeah, he's definitely a solid finisher. And he doesn't get caught up in a bunch of stupid wrecks. Yeah. There's so. a lot to be said for that. There is. Well, we'll see. A lot, a lot cheaper to drive that way. <laughs> Just saying, he's not costing them money. Yeah. He's not a lotion. No, uh, Mikhail. Oh, Mikhail. Oh, Mikhail. All right. Uh, I see you, little buddy. <laughs> and Tuesday, we are getting the schedule, and it's apparently been announced. We're going to Coda next year. Yeah, I think everybody and their mom knows we're going to Coda. So yeah. let's go ahead and say we're going to Coda, and we're recording Sunday, and we'll have an addendum at the end of this, after the schedule comes out, because, well... We'll see what else is on there. Yep, we'll see what other surprises. Because since they already announced Coda, I feel like there's going to be another... They're going to be like, ta-da! Yeah, there's going to totally be a jaw dropper on there. Like, maybe not a new race, but maybe some races will be switching times. Like Drastically. You never know. That'll be good. Mm -hmm. And then, let's see. Also, in the like least guarded secret ever, Alonzo's testing at Barber in an Andretti Autosport car Wednesday, I believe. Everybody already knew it. And everybody already knew it. So, I think it was one of those things everybody knew, and everybody thought everybody else knew, so nobody just, nobody just really talked about it. Yeah. So, we'll see. It's closed. Nobody's going to see it. Media's not allowed there. Spectators, I guess, aren't allowed there, so. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting that it's a totally closed test. Yeah. I guess, hmm. eh, we'll see. Yeah. I guess we won't see, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. We will no, not see. We will not see. But it's, I mean, it's a road course, and that's what F1 primarily does, so I don't think there's going to be a huge learning curve for him. No, I don't think so either. Yeah. No. Maybe it's more of like a job interview. They've seen him on an oval. They'd like to see him on a road course. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder, I know he's driving. They've seen him on street courses at F1. I know he's driving in Andretti Autosport, but I wonder if, like, other teams are going to be there scouting Ooh. with like little binoculars like at high school basketball games right <laughs> this is all of them like in the field like roger pinsky's up a tree <laughs> binoculars and a clipboard just writing a notes. Blind. <laughs> <laughs> just in all... camouflage <laughs> yes yeah. but with a pinsky logo on it <laughs> naturally <laughs> totally all camouflage but with two with a, just a pair of little teeny tiny binoculars just watching <laughs> uh, yes. Somebody with Photoshop help us out. <laughs> That's what I need right now. Is it? Yeah. Roger Pinsky and a tree blind. <laughs> with binoculars. I mean, it's got to look pretty similar to him in a pit stand. <laughs> yeah. Basically, yeah. just take he and a pit stand and put some put some camo on that. Yeah. Oh. So. Um, hilarious. Oh, Roger. Oh, headphones on for sure oh definitely with the mouthpiece yeah, yeah definitely put stuff back to everybody oh all right <laughs> well let's move on to our portland wrap up let us do so as we talked about last time we took over the indy carnation twitter um this weekend and also did a lot of things with indy carnation members and for indy carnation members actually we did and for the general public as a service yeah, we had all kinds of fun things. We, we had did. an autograph session that I uh, was a little bit late to. Yeah, it was okay. But uh, but yeah, we got to talk to Kara Adams and Dr. Jeffrey Billows. And they're amazing. And we have the audio. Um, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. I have not listened to it. So, we'll see. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to put it up. If not, we'll talk about it later. Yep. Uh, but yeah, so that was fun. So we did, yeah, hosted two guests during the autograph session. And... We did the pit view during qualifications. Which is real nice. It was very nice. And there was a nice breeze. We were in the shade because we were in the box. They had charge our phone. snacks. Yeah, snacks, water, Gatorade. Which I was all about. All kinds of TV screens. Phone charging stands. I know we said it, but Headphones. we need to say it again. Yes, because 
It's not that you use your phone that much, it's that you have no signal, so everything, everything uses you do. three times as much battery yeah. to send. Yeah. Yeah. There was no, which is part of the reason why a lot of things did not go through. Um, there was no signal at no. all. No, none. None. No. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. Um, and then the P1 photo. Yep. And then the winter circle photo. Yep. There was a, uh, a they, radio tour. They had a radio tour and a TSO tour um, yes. that other people kind of covered, too, because it was like a whole team effort. Oh. Two seaters and hot lap rides. Two seaters and hot laps. Larry Foyt tried to kill us. It's fine. Just a little bit. Just, just a few moments. Just when that back end got a little loose on us. And we thought, yeah, this is you it. You know, I, ride in, I, I use a lot of ride share. Um, a lot of ride shares. Yeah. So Lyft, Uber, etc. And uh, just get into the habit of like not putting a seatbelt on on the back of it. And I know that I should, but it's like getting in a cab or like in a bus. Like, you just, whatever. Yeah. Two weeks in a row on the hot lap, I've just hopped in like it's a ride share and forgotten the seatbelt. I know. It's something weird about it. You're like, okay, let's go. And you don't think, oh, hey, click it or ticket. Yeah, no. It's like, you know. Well, because we're not on a real road, you know, I your think. Your Lyft driver, Larry, is here in a, a silver Honda Accord. <laughs> and you're not on, like, a street? Yeah. Like, if it's they like did. being at camp or. If, if they did, like, hot laps on, like, a street course, I think at that point we'd have been, like, step off of the street, like, click, click, all right, I'm on a real street. Like, yeah. there's a sign that says, like... Yeah, it's like driving within a state park. Yeah, you're like, eh... I mean... Should yeah. you? Even yes. we're going to go fast, like, my brain hasn't... It's not there yet. Yeah. It's like you're just in a car with your buddy, Larry. Yeah. Who's arriving, like she said, who's arriving <laughs> yeah. in a... Silver Honda Ding. Accord. Larry's arriving at a Silver Honda Accord. Larry's here, and he's not happy about the weekend, so enjoy! So, <laughs> yeah, so I get it. <laughs> oh, so last week, if you don't recall, I started a brief conversation with him, and I was like, Matt Lace seems like a good kid. <laughs> so Matt Lace seems like a good kid. So then this week, we get a hot lap, and Larry's the driver again. Last week, it was a private ride. This week, it's me and Molly and another... Uh, Another, dude. Another guy. So Molly and I get in the back, and I get in. I was like, "Hey," I was like, "How's it going?" I was like, "We just did this last week," and he recognizes me, and he's like, "Oh yeah, hi." And so I get in, and first off, I want to say that again, forgot the seatbelt. <laughs> yep. When I do remember the seatbelt, I start to pull it out. I like pull it too hard. It gets stuck. I have to take it all the way back, and then all the way back. And Larry is already going super fucking fast. Yes. So I'm like frantically trying to get the seatbelt. <laughs> oh god. And as I click it, I see him watch me click the seatbelt in the back seat and chuckle to himself <laughs> and smirk. And that's when I thought he might kill us. Yeah. And that's when I think we got about 50 miles per hour faster. Yeah. 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 It was a lot of G-forces in that Honda Accord. I'll I mean, tell you that. There was a moment. It was throwing us around <laughs> the back seat. where <laughs> no, we were. I was just, ah. I'm like, I've had yeah. carnival rides that didn't have yeah. that much movement. It was like the scrambler. Yes, it was, it was like the, the scrambler. scrambler. And at one point, I was like, okay, you're on this turn. And then I was like, I don't know what turn I'm on anymore. I'm in the seventh circle of hell, and Larry Foyt knows what I've said. I, I had totally given up on where we were at on the course. All I could think to myself was, okay, when we crash, <laughs> just try to project your head. You're still a nurse. We're definitely going to have to be extricated, but you can take care of everybody in the vehicle until AMR gets here. <laughs> like, I'm, like, talking to myself. Like, okay. We hit the festival curse, and I was like, festival curse! And then I was like, I don't know anymore. <laughs> That's it. I'm out. What turnery? Eh. We hit the back stretch, and there was the back stretch I knew, because I was like, oh, I God. I was like, okay, we're almost done. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, no, we're not. We still have 10, 11, 12. It was, so, it was super fun, though. It was, I, mean, I honestly was 100%. only concerned for, like, just a, a split second. But, yeah, so, so I did, so I chit chat again. <laughs> and in retrospect, I should have opened with Tony's baby is really cute. Yeah. You know, along the same lines of. Matt Lee seems, seems like, like a, a good, good kid. kid. You know, very innocuous. But I didn't. I no. said, so Larry, how's your weekend going? <laughs> this was after qualifications, by the way. I need to put this in time perspective. <laughs> he says just like this, not great. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh, uh, well, aside from the uh, racing, how's it going? 
Silence. Silence. And then, you know we've changed everything except the paint on those cars. Still can't find any speed. <laughs> Larry just wanted to gripe. Yes. Then Larry took out his frustrations on, on our us. hot lap. Yeah. He, he didn't like that you asked him about the weekend. He knows I think his rosé is shit. And he was like, these bitches gonna learn today. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna learn today. <laughs> Have fun. Guess what turn we're on now. Surprise, all of them. <laughs> uh, it was a great ride, though, honestly. It you was. get your money's worth with Larry Foyt. You do. You yeah, do. You really do. That's that's who you wanted the hot lap. <laughs> because forever. there was a moment where the car in front of us was breaking, and we did not. We were not breaking. We were not. And I was like, uh-oh, what happens? Are we going to pass them? Is that a lap? Are we passing? Are we in the slipstream? What's happening here? <laughs> Although I will say, at one point, Elio was driving around in a pace car. And, and I had a moment. I was super excited. I had a moment where I was like, oh my god. I was like, I don't know who I need to promise a favor to to get into that vehicle. But if Elio Castroneves is giving hot lap rides, I will pull every connection I have at this moment to yes. get this. And it would just be a lap of us crying. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. He'd be like, hello. And I'd just be like, meh. Nah. I'm not worthy. I can't. <laughs> just, <gasps> just the stupid ass girl on our face mm -hmm. staring at him the whole time. <laughs> You'd be like, it's really creepy, guys. <laughs> I know. Uh, girls, it's really creepy. You're so pretty. <laughs> Why do you smell like sunshine? <laughs> mm. uh, so, if you ever get the chance to take a hot lap ride, do it. Well, you should just go ahead and do it. Do it. It's awesome. Yes. Um, we also had some fun in Portland. We sure did. We went to the Kennedy School. Yes. Which is really cool. So it's by McMinimus? 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 And an M and an S around there, too. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's a family of brothers, and they turn cool old buildings into fun bars and things. So the Kennedy School has like seven different bars, all themed. It's got a pool. It's got like a bed and breakfast, a hotel room kind of area. Um, and it's, it's a, a school. Restaurant. It's an old school. And it's an old elementary school. Which is and it was called the Kennedy School, which so the, it's still called the Kennedy School. Yeah. Um, so, but it was very cool. It was. We went there, had a, had a beer and some food mm -hmm. after Qualls. And it was delicious. Yeah. And of course, we had to eat on the river one night because, well. Well, yes. That's what you do. It is what you do. So we enjoy some seafood. We did. We had some delicious seafood. Oh, yeah. It's the only place I'll eat seafood is on the coast. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm done after today, and I'm sad. <laughs> after we didn't get seafood tonight, I was like, yeah, I'm okay we with didn't. it. Although it wouldn't have been fresh from the place we got food from. No, the Ponderosa Cascade Grill is no. mm -hmm. probably not fresh. No, it's definitely. It would definitely have been frozen from God knows where. It had been some Gordon's Fisherman fish yeah. sticks. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay with not. Fish farm... Yeah. Fuckery, yeah. All right. Well, I think we should move on to the actual IndyCar stuff. <laughs> yeah. So we had uh, two practices on Friday. Um, Practice one, people were flying off course left and right and missing that chicane. Yeah. They were just scooting on through, mm -hmm. which is not what you're supposed to do, by the way. No, sure isn't. Yeah. Um, and let's see, in P1, Sebastian Bourdais was first, so that was exciting. Exciting. Um, and then it was Scott, Joseph, Marco, and Will running out the top five for that. Excellent. Actually, all of them were on blacks. Really? Yeah. yeah interesting. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Um, let's see. For Friday afternoon practice, nine out of the ten were on reds. And so it was Will was first, then Marco, then Santino Ferrucci, Scott Dixon, and Jack Harvey. Um, Zach Veach was in the top ten, but he was the... He was eighth, and he was the only one on blacks. Huh. Little Veach throwing it out there on the black tires again, nice. saying, I think I got this. Right? So, um, I don't know. It, it's weird to take practices, especially at a new track, as any indication. I yeah, I don't think it really means anything. You know, I, all I knew was everybody's running into, like, turn 11, turn 12. and Yeah, I think it just shows, you know, kind of the, the problem areas. Yeah, here's just like, oh, so that's going to be an issue. Yeah. Hopefully they figure that out before yep. Sunday. Oh, fingers crossed. Oh, dear. I'm trying to flip back and forth here. All right, Saturday. Saturday, we had practice three. And then qualifying. Yeah, and so practice three was Bourdais, despite the issue, Ray Hall, Power, Rossi, and Sato, your top five. And then that's when um, Bourdais snapped that car. 
Yeah. Like, snapped it. And yeah. that was, you know, practice ended at, like, nine-something. And qualifications was at, like, mm, 2.30-ish. Yeah. So they didn't have a lot of time to Frankenstein that car back together, but had, you know, that Dale Coyne Vassar Sullivan team... I mean, seriously, like, hats off to ...put it them. together. It did look like Frankenstein's monster. Sure did. Which was kind of fun. But it drove. It drove! Um, and actually, he qualified very well. He qualified fourth, so... Yeah. Hats off to his crew. That's amazing that they were able to pull that off. And that, that's extremely impressive. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that... They have a... Dale Coyne did, like, a time lapse of, of the, like, repair of the car. Oh, really? And the garage is just, like, a hive. Oh, And sure. we, we walked past it at one point before Qualls. Yeah. Like, within 30 minutes of Qualls. And they were just running around like nutballs. Yeah, they were. But they got it started up. I think we were there when they started it up, uh -huh. so that was real cool. That was very cool. And they had the pieces of the other one up, up. top. And they had, the, like, the older car also, like, that back part up top. And yeah. it was... Trash. Oh, toe up. Yes, it was toe up. It was toe up. But, I mean, he qualified fourth. Yeah. You can't... I mean... I mean, he's got so much skill. He does. And this is, you know, that a track that he knew, so... I didn't... Yeah. I wasn't too surprised. I mean, had he not crashed, he, he would have probably called better. Yeah, he probably would have pulled. But I can't believe that he came in fourth with a Frankenstein car. I like, know. Ooh, whoa. That's I mean, pretty yeah, cool. just beyond impressive. Yeah. All right, well, moving on to qualifications, Left you anything else for practice? No. All right. Uh, Will Power got the pole, which... Yep. Obviously. It's what, 50... Fifth? Fourth. 54, 54. Official. Yeah, fifty fourth official. Yeah, fifty fifth unofficial. Yes. <laughs> um, then Joseph Newgarden, Rossi was third, as we talked about. Bourdais was fourth. Ryan Hunter Ray was fifth, and Zach Veach made it into the fast six. Yes, he did. I was like, okay, well done. I'm here, Veach. Let's go. I keep saying like, and what's interesting is everybody talks about him in that same way. Like, he's grown. Mm -hmm. He's fun to watch. Like he's got a good attitude. He's also a great driver. Mm -hmm. Like I, in about another year, he needs he needs another year. Yeah, and then he's really gonna be something. I think so too. Yeah, and it's fun to watch. It is. It's real fun to watch. It is. So, um, also Ed Jones made you know top ten. So did Marco. Yep. And Hinch was seven. So Hinch just. Barely missed getting into the fast six. He did, and it was kind of back and forth there during quals. I mean, he was in it. I mean, yeah, in, and then he was, and how it is during that that kind of last group. I yeah. guess it's technically round two because it's group one, round one, group two, round one, then it's round two, and then it's fast six. Yes. Yeah, it's weird on. Yeah. Street courses and road courses. Yeah. But yeah, just barely didn't, <clears throat> just barely didn't make it in. Yeah. yeah, starting seventh, nothing to be ashamed about. No, and he got, well, he got caught in that first incident. So never mind. He did. I was like, and he, oh no, no. Well, nope. So let's move on to the. Uh, well, Simon Pageant, I'll say that. Qualified yeah. Qualified twenty second, just uh, not a great qualification run at all. No, I just. It was, we were all kind of shocked about that one, I think. Yeah, I don't know what happened. We weren't listening on the radio. I have no idea what happened, but he just could not get any speed. I, that might have been it. Maybe it's just the setup. Like, I, I, yeah, I don't know what the deal was. Because there was nothing that, like, broke or was wrong, per se, with the car. No. Mechanically, to, like, you know. It's just, yeah, whatever their setup was, like, yeah, they just couldn't. They couldn't do anything, and it was weird. Yeah, very weird. I'm sure very frustrating for them. Oh, I can only imagine. I wish we had been listening. Sure, Pageant has said the F word. Oh, I'm very positive. Well, I mean, Scott didn't. What, Scott qualified? Yeah, he qualified 11th. And I thought he was going to throw shit in his pit. It sounded like he did not carefully lay his helmet down. I'm not going to say he threw it, but when that helmet came off, it was not a, I'm going to just place it right here. It, it is, might have bounced. I will place it on the ground. It might have. Bounced accidentally. Yeah. Because the his pit was right next to the Verizon box, and so when he came back in, everybody just slowly turned to look over, and, like, nobody moved closer to that pit box. No. But we all just stood there and watched for a minute, like, what's about to happen? Yeah. I'm, I, I want to see what's about to happen. I'm I don't want to be real slow. part of it. Yeah, no. But I want to see what's about to happen. 
<laughs> so that was only oh, Jordan King came in 12 for Qualls. Yes, he did. That was also really good. Yeah. He he had a very good race, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He both he, he, he and Spencer wasn't wasn't Which, a fun fact about Jordan King. He was both your sleeper this week for fantasy. Yeah, I didn't car. realize this. And my and my first, first out. I realized it after I wrote it because we had done this so long ago. Yeah. And usually I double check it, and I did not because well, service was shit. Ugh. And yes. I wrote locks, drops, and sleepers in line for the hot lap. Yep. Because that's how I do things sometimes when mm-hmm. I've been on the road for three weeks now. Yeah. And so yeah, that was fun. I was like, gosh, darn it! <laughs> I don't believe I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> I was like, ah, no. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. It was funny. I mean, I'm here for it. It was very funny. So, all right, I think we got to move on to the race. All right, let's do it. Oh, um, boy. Lap one. Lap one. Not turn one, though. Turn two. Well, it was kind of, it, the turn, I think it was after the festival curves, which are like two and three. One, two, and something else. Well, almost a three, because that was Marco's joke. He didn't yeah. quite, he didn't make it to three. No. Which was actually quite funny. It was very funny. Um, the crash, not so much. No. Veach bumped into Hinchcliffe. Yeah. And then Hinch kind of spun a bit and caught Dixon and Jones and Ray Hall. And also Marco, whose car flipped. Ended up going flying in the air backwards and then flipped. flipped. Like, um, end over, not end over end, but more um, rotated. Yeah, what, there's a word for that. I can't um, think of it. The C, like, yeah, it's fine. Barrel roll. He, yeah. That served the C, served the B. Yeah, he barrel rolled though. He barrel rolled, ended up upside, upside down. down. So everybody, second time for Marco Andretti, end up upside down on a fucking street cor- on a road course. Yeah. He also did that in Mid Ohio. And we were all done at that point. Yeah, it actually looked like a really bad. Well, and I think part of it was all of the dust that caught. The, yeah, you could picked up anything. that like you could only see bits and pieces of it, and everybody's like, Fuck. "I think there's a car upside down." Like, like not happening? again. What's going on? How many cars are there? What color are they? Yeah, because we were like, "It's this color." No, it's this color. No, I think I see this number. And yeah, it was yeah, it was Which, pretty insane. I will say, I love that Dixon like AMR comes. And they, you know, they're all going to a specific place, and they start coming towards Dixon, and he waves them off. <laughs> like, I'm fine. I am not hurt. <clears throat> I didn't hit anybody. And he's like, I just need somebody to let me know I can back up. Right. Do I got room behind me now? Right. Am me, I cool? Let me throw this bitch in reverse. Like, beep, beep. And th- the luck that man has. Uh, how did he not, like, he didn't hit anything. It looked like he didn't really no, have any. No, he just, like. Bumped. He, he just Maybe braked. he bumped. He just braked. I don't even think he bumped. I think that he just got, like, caught up in the midst of all of them, and that, like, perfect puzzle pieces around him, they just, like, formed. But he yes. didn't actually hit He was anything. just like, ta-da. Yeah. yeah. And, like, dust was in front of him. He couldn't see anything, but still managed to not actually hit anything. I just, I doesn't, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I, what? It, witchcraft. It, it is witchcraft. It is sorcery. Here it is. Scott Dixon, Dixon is a witch. Scott Dixon is a witch. There's your hot take. There's your hot take. <laughs> Scott Dixon is <laughs> that's our witchcraft. latest. That's our latest rumor. Scott Dixon. Dixon. Oof, that's hard for me to say today. Scott Dixon is a witch. Yeah, it's the C H and the X O. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Scott Dixon is a witch. Scott Dixon is a witch. I saw Scott Dixon with the devil. <laughs> that's it. There it is. Yep. Yep. Um. So we had a yellow for that caution for a bit. And I <laughs> lost my shit. <laughs> Because, oh, also caught up in that, but escaped yes. with some front wing damage, <laughs> Sebastian Bourdais. A man who had not had good luck. No. <clears throat> now, just to uh, clarify my picks for fantasy. Yes. Willpower. Mm-hmm. At that point, I'm still doing. He's still, he's still, still doing, doing well. okay. Yeah, he was fine at that point. Yeah. Bourdais, who at this point had lost like 10 spots. Yeah. Not great. Not great. Better than Marco, who ended up upside down. Yeah. And Ed Jones, whose car was trashed. Both out. Half of my fantasy team out before turn three of lap one. And then we restart it 
Will gets passed by, Rossi has some sort of gear issue, and he loses ten spots at that point. Yeah, he, he completely loses first gear. Oh, God. Works around it. And then he loses third gear. Yep. And then at one point, like at lap 44, which is a little farther ahead, he just plows right into the tire barrier to like turn 11, turn 12, where everybody else had during practice. I don't, we were... By that point, I was like, you've got to be shitting me. We were like in a... in like a GA area, and there was like a nice meadow, and you're across the way, and like when it hits a yellow, like you can hear it, like everything stop. And I remember just looking over at you yelling loudly, it's Will. Yeah. Just, it's Will! And I was like, fuck! Because at that point, three out of the four of your fantasy <laughs> and he got... I was like, we thought he was done no! Day. <laughs> God damn it. I could not have had worse picks. Luck. Oh, God. Oh. This is why I never picked Ray Hall. I already have bad luck. Can you imagine if I had picked Ray Hall? Ray Hall was out after that. Ray Hall was out. Oh. oh, God. That was... That was quite the moment. <laughs> and then it kind of settled out. Everything kind of calmed down. And then they had the caution at lap 58. And all of the leaders pitted. But Sato, Bourdais, and RHR had already pitted. So they were out in front. And so everything got flipped topsy-turvy. It did. And they kind of just stayed up front until the end. They did. Um, Veach had a stuck throttle because Veach apparently had some damage to the bottom of his car. Yeah. I think from the James issue. No, it was the... the oh, he did like a spin-out too. Yeah, no, it was the second... Yeah, the, the second altercation with this car. Oh, Veach. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, it was a nice race. It was. It was a very unexpected race. There was a lot... I mean, well, there were, there were leader changes. Yeah. The pissed off strategies didn't go the way we thought they were going to go. People that we thought were going to do really well didn't. I mean, it was... They were people like double passing the the aerial yes. shots when we watched it. Like two people were passing some like the, people were passing each other at the same time, and I was like, "Ooh, that's pretty." Yeah, like like spots for one and three would be both would both be getting passed at the same, same time. time. Like yeah. two and four would be passing one and three, but at the same time. And I was like, "Ooh, like synchronized swimming." Exactly. Yeah, synchronized IndyCar. Let's start this. <laughs> Come on, guys, get on board. Uh. <laughs> but Sato won. Sato one, yeah. It was just, it was a it was an one of those race and a very unexpected race. Where I think at the end we all kind of were like, like is, this uh, is going to happen. Okay, Sato's winning. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. So that's so Sato won. Um, that's how we're going to come back to Portland is with a Sato victory. But okay. I mean, for a race for the like the inaugural race for like the first race in the Pacific Northwest and forever well, like it is the race. It's probably closest to Japan. Is it, or is one of the Cali races closer? Maybe Sonoma and Long Beach? I don't know. I don't know. We don't need to look it up. But that's, yeah. That's great. But maybe. But I'm just saying more like being the inaugural race and like Portland and everything else. Like, of course it ended up like kind of topsy-turvy. Yeah. Like, no, it, winners nobody expected. The points champions kind of... Got all mixed up in things. Like a, totally, yeah. a weird crash. Weird, you know, all yeah. sorts of passes at different areas in the trek. Yeah. Yeah, people were concerned there weren't going to be passes. Oh, there were tons of passes. Oh, there were passes. Passes on passes. Passes on passes. Passes on passes on passes. Yeah, we had multiple leaders. Let's see. Power, Led, Rossi, RHR, New Garden, Sato, Chilton. All Led. And that's... Leading crossing start finish. Yeah, these are lead change summaries. But like, there were people that were were like squeaky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got in first and then got passed again before they finished a whole lap. And a lot I of. Don't even get counted in that. A, like the the penalties. Yeah. Like a lot of pit area penalties. So like pit speed violation was a big thing. Yeah, who all got a pit speed violation? Um, Dixon did... Okay, so for pit speed, it was Dixon and Will. And then... Tony and Jack got a pit safety infraction. So typically, I think that means just running over equipment. Yeah. Um, and then the... Or, like, going over your line or something. Yeah. And then blocking for... Nope, not King. Piggott, 
Veach, and Chavez, and then Joseph Newgarden got a, quote, shortcut violation. Because <laughs> he missed turns one, two, and three, and just went, scoop! Yeah. Tried to pull a Dalton Kellett and just leap through the Verizon Indy Cars. <laughs> Oh. All those Indy Lights drivers. God, you'd have thought that IndyCar would have learned from Lights, because Lights did the same oh bullshit. Oh, God. Lap one, turn one. They, <laughs> there are seven cars. They went seven wide. Right, and everybody was like, no, this you can't go seven wide. Well. <laughs> right? I remember looking up at the screen going, we were all like, oh, oh no. no. And the poor guys next to us, because you and I both were like, no, you can't do that. No. And they were like, what's going to happen? And we're like, they're going to crash. crash. Watch. <laughs> Watch this. This is what's gonna happen. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get loose. But yeah. Um, you would have thought that any car would have paid attention, but nope. Nope. They were like, it's fine. They were like, it's cool. We, we can do this. We know what we're doing. Up. Yeah. We're professionals. Me. Watch us. They were uh, not, in fact, professionals. They were, in fact, not. So yeah, Sada won, RHR was second, and Sebastian Bourdais was third. So. I mean, a very impressive weekend for him considering everything. The Frankenstein I know. car. Getting caught up in the first incident, making it through relatively unscathed, losing like ten spots, and still coming back and podium. having to change out. Yeah. Like he had to, ch like there was yeah. a damage to the front end even from that. Like, good God, Sebastian! <laughs> yeah, he still ended up with his old um, livery's nose on, at the end of the race. Like he still had a Frankenstein car, just didn't look as bad. Uh, it was a side, but he still ended up with like the original yellow. nose. Yeah. Oh Christ. <laughs> Like, he was not meant to have a purple car this weekend. No. He should just never run that yeah, livery no, again. I mean, like, let's, let's... Stop it. I know it's not green, but stop running purple livery, Sebastian. Yeah, no. Just stop it. Um, the rest of the top five was Spencer Pickett was fourth. Wow. I know. That's right. That was... It was a, it was a, it was a good race for uh, Ed Carpenter Racing. It was. Spencer was fourth, and then Jordan King was 15th. Um, he, he started 12th, but still... Yeah, finished solid finish, and he 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 was aggressive and challenged. So he might not have finished higher, but he was definitely driving very well. So I think he should be happy with that. Yeah, I think so as well. Um, and then of course Dixon was fifth because, as we kept saying, it doesn't matter where Dixon starts. It makes no difference whatsoever. I would imagine if you extended this out by another mm, ten laps, Dixon would have podium. Yes. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Um, let's see. rest of the top ten were Kimball, Rossi, Fittipaldi, and Newgarden. And great finish for Kimball. Yeah. He went from 25th to 7th. I mean, that's amazing. And Pagano <clears throat> finished 6th, didn't he? Yes. Did I? Oh, I think I... I thought I talked about Simon. Yep, nope, Simon finished 6th. Sorry. Yeah, he went from 22nd to 6th, so... And Sada went from 20th to 1st. I mean... Really, a lot of movement, a lot of impressive driving. A lot of impressive driving. And I, I don't think we talked about it, but, like, it's been packed every day. Yes. And more and more people. I mean, there were a lot of people Friday. Yeah. Saturday, even more people. And today, I mean, just a shit ton. Yes. I mean, like, waiting to get in. We somehow snuck in when there wasn't much of a line, so we could kind of squeak on in, but... Yeah. Like, it was full. A lot of people, like, had, were taking pictures of the super long line. I mean, that's exciting. It's exciting. It and is. It, somebody it's exciting already said for it's this race week, exciting for the sport. They're coming back next year and I was like, "Good." Yeah. I mean, depending on what else gets revealed on Tuesday, we'll see where we go, but probably one of the other races I figure on the West Coast. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah. We can worry about that later. Definitely. <laughs> All right, let's see. So yeah. After the schedule comes out, we'll have to make some plans. Yeah. We got some time. We do. I'm not ready to start looking at trips. I'm, I am, we are yeah. coming home tomorrow and we are actually not leaving for races until December, January. January. Yeah. And we're not even planning that race until November. Yeah. No. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. There's not much of a plan for that race. No, it's just we better hit November in case we want to buy anything on Amazon. We'll hit it on a like Cyber Friday? Monday. Oh, Cyber Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the only reason why it's for sales. That's true. We got to make sure we got all of our good camping yeah, gear. Yeah, I'm like, I don't, we don't need to plan it that early. I'm just trying to hit some holiday sales. Right, you're like, but we need a few more things. <laughs> I mean, we always need a few more yeah. things. We can always improve our camping. Flamingos. Yep. And stuff for our cots. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you know, maybe 
Well, no, we have a little grill, so put something for coffee. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> that's what we're missing. Yes, we need we need to step up the coffee game for sure. Yeah, we we yeah. do. Yeah, definitely. Cold brews just keep me from being homicidal. Well, <clears throat> and at Daytona, they're just not okay. I'm not drinking a cold coffee at Daytona. It's already cold. No, thank you. No. No, I mm -hmm. need something warm. Yeah. Yeah, caffeinated and warm. Yeah. So, anyway. All right. That's for a while back. So... It was a wild race. Let's it go was. through our picks. Uh, okay. So, <clears throat> I picked Will Power for first, and as my lock, I was wrong. Yes. Zero points. Zero points on that one. Yeah. I picked Dixon for top five. Hey! Got a point. Dixie point! <laughs> picked Pageant over top ten. Boom! Yep. Got a point. Yep. Pietro for first out. Nope. No points. No points. Uh, I picked Rossi for first. Also, he was my lock. Nope. 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 No, thank you. Uh, I had Bourdais top five. I get a point. I had Veach for top ten. Damn it. No. No. And, uh, I had <laughs> for first out. <laughs> and also, as you sleeper. sleeper. <laughs> I need to remind myself to look at everything before I write that. <laughs> I just couldn't. The service was really bad. Oh, that's hilarious. I like how all of a sudden I was like, oh, I had him for my first out. <laughs> I mean, that just really tickled me. It's funny. No, it's hilarious. It really is. This is what happens during race weekend. <laughs> well, I mean, we've changed time zones. Yeah, yeah, I've been in Seattle. Like, yeah, it's been weird. Got a lot going on. It has. <laughs> um, all right. Well, if you missed out on all the things we did this weekend... You can find it all on our social media. <clears throat> we did a lot of things with Indie Carnation, so make sure to check out their social media. Um, their website is IndieCarnation.com mm -hmm. or at Indie Carnation on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And then ours, of course, is www.FastCarsFastGirls.com. And you can subscribe from there, so make sure you listen, like, rate, review, download, share with your friends, share with your enemies. We don't really care. Share with everybody. Downloads or downloads to us. Yeah, I don't care. Right? You would hate the person. I will like the download. I will like the download. How's yep. that? <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, make sure you uh, make sure you check out what we're doing. Yeah. You can look at all of our pictures and all that on our Twitter, our Facebook, and our Instagram, and you can link to all that directly from the website. And don't think that just because we're going into the off season, we're gonna like slow down. Slow down. Or... We have big plans, so definitely, definitely, like it's only gonna get more exciting and fun. And it is. We're gonna have a lot of variety in the off season. Yeah, I'm here for it. All the silly season news. Oh, boy. <clears throat> All the fun events. We've got the air race. we got the air race coming up. We'll have liquor and lights. Yeah. Liquor, liquor and lights. lights. Um, and we do fun stuff around the holidays, too, just for fun. We do. So, we got stuff on the in the pipeline, so keep an eye on it. It'll be a good shit. Um, also this weekend, the Monster Road to Indy, which... This is the last time it will be called the Mazda Road to Indy. They crowned their champion. So for USF 2000, it was Kyle Kirkwood. And Excellent. for Pro Mazda, it was Renus VK for Yunkos. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, for Indy Lights, Pato Award uh, is the champ. So, Excellent. Um, as you may or may not remember from our earlier episodes, when we talked about the Mazda Road to Indy, the champions kind of win a scholarship to bump them up into the next level. Yes. So... Kyle Kirkwood will move on to Pro Mazda. Renus VK will move on to Indy Lights. And Pato Award will get a scholarship um, that does about, like, two rides in the 500. Two in the 500 or three in the 500? Mm. I think it's... <clears throat> I think it's... The 500 is in there. You yeah. run the 500. I just can't remember if it's two or three. It's been a long day. Yeah. It's I okay. But that's part. That's that's what he'll do. And as uh, we learned, he will also be writing for Harding for Sonoma, which I don't believe that's actually part of his scholarship. I think that's just that's something that Harding. Harding was like, "Hello, we see that you are a good driver. Would you like to try and drive at Sonoma?" Yeah, I see your season is over. Would you like to join ours for a, a race? <laughs> so yeah, I don't think that has anything to do with yeah. That was fun. It, it, was, is. it was fun to crown them here. I think it. It's nice that they kind of have their own sort of little area where they can race. And, like, Portland is where they crown their champion. And then Sonoma is where we crown ours. I like yeah. it that it's two separate weeks. Yeah, that they don't have to be overshadowed. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that is very cool. 
So, um, let's see. This weekend. This weekend yeah, in we, Indy, we have um, NASCAR. Is this a NASCAR? Is this a NASCAR? Am I, are we, are am we I, going back into NASCAR? Am I in NASCAR right now? You might be. I, I might know. be. Could be. Maybe. Could be. We've got the Cup Race, the Xfinity Race, and the BC39 on the dirt track that's currently in Turn 3. Which is going to be fun! We have a racetrack inside a racetrack. I mean, what do you have? <laughs> yeah. How cool is your track? We have a track within a track. You're welcome. It's like an inception of racetracks. Actually, we have two tracks inside of our track. We have three. We have a track we have inside a track inside a track. It's a track inside a track inside a track. Tracks on tracks! Tracks on tracks. <laughs> Inception track. Inception. Trackception. Is the top still spinning? I don't know. Maybe. Oh. But it's going to be fun. We fly back Monday. So tomorrow. Or, if you're listening to this on Wednesday, we flew back Monday. We'll have Tuesday. And then... Wednesday and Thursday are the dirt track nights at the at yep. IMS, and then pra I think Friday's like practice. Saturday's so. the Xfinity race, and Sunday is the Brickyard Four Hundred. Yep. So it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be another busy weekend, another but at least week for sure. we'll be home. So there's we that. Will. We can sleep on our own beds. So that'll be kind of nice. But yeah, that'll be fun. I'm very excited for the dirt track. I am too. I love that it's it's at Indy, and it's got like a huge number of participants it might be the biggest now because of everybody's excitement yeah I think um, it's 118 it's just insane the last count yeah so and sarah fisher was the first person to drive on it yay sarah which is just fitting I and i love it because i love sarah fisher i know so yeah that was very cool so yeah well let's white flag this bitch yeah it's been a long couple of weeks what you got um well, I'm excited to be at home for a little bit. Uh, we've been out of town the last three weeks, and I'm ready to be at home and not be doing laundry in such a panic. Yes. Um, and yeah, but I am excited for the dirt track this weekend, and uh, yeah, it's crazy that the season's wrapping up with IndyCar. Yeah, it feels kind of weird. Yeah, what about you? Um, I am excited about this weekend. I think it was fun. Um, yeah. It was just a good race. I think the, the town of Portland, and I haven't read anything to the contrary yet, really embraced it. I um, agree. And they definitely came out from the Pacific Northwest um, to support it, so that's great. I enjoy that IndyCar kind of has a primary route in the Midwest, but if we can kind of like pick up people, like the Pacific Northwest is a great area for IndyCar to expand into because it's got that sort of tech bubble in Seattle because of everything. So mm -hmm. um, it was a great weekend. It was a lot of fun to be here in Portland, and the weather was beautiful. Yeah. And we saw Mount Hood every day, so I'm happy. We did. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was very cool. Yeah. Yeah, the scenery is gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely so. out here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, check your flag. Check your flag. Thanks for listening. Bye.